Hi, I'm Steve Heap. Uh, welcome. You know, thank you so much for joining us today in our first of a series of cloud platform summits, which are scheduled throughout the year. We'll be bringing you really relevant topics and use cases that are especially per, uh, pertinent uh, during this time. Um, today, we'll be talking about how we build a modern data warehouse, and we also have some amazing customer discussions ahead. Now, you know, first I wanted to start with the context of today. You know, to best serve our customers, we're focused and committed to delivering the right outcomes for them, for you. In every way, it's about supporting and enabling our in this unprecedented time of change. Today, our customers are reimagining and reinventing their businesses to lead them into a successful future. Now, when we look at areas that are top of mind, they include addressing the economic impact. How do we help save costs? How do we make sure we have a dynamic environment where we can only pay for what we use and maybe shut it off when we're not using it? Ensuring business continuity and business resiliency is obviously key. Engaging with employees and customers in a new way with the rapidly changing dynamics of most marketplaces, how do we stay on top of that? And part of that is being able to rapidly develop, deploy, solutions to market, whether that's customer engagement, whether that's business practices, uh, whether that's moving from a, a, a physical mode to a virtual mode like we're coming to you today, really helping to accelerate digital transformation. And finally, and importantly, and specific to the topic today, it's about informing decisions through predictive insights. And again, this will be the core topic for today. Now, next, one of the foundational innovations in core to our data management and data warehouse offering is the Oracle Autonomous Database. It is the world's only self-driving, self-securing, and self-repairing database. By self-driving, we mean it automatically provisions, configures, tunes, and scales. From a self-securing perspective, it automatically patches, encrypts, monitors, and remediates. Uh, so if it discovers a security action, it can automatically help remediate a specific potential breach. And then finally, from a self repairing perspective, we offer the same level of SLAs um, and the lowest amount of downtime uh, across any cloud provider. We realize that as you move to cloud, you cannot compromise. And so we've done just that and more with the autonomous database. So next, when you look at autonomous database, it comes in really two key features or two services that are available. The first is the autonomous data warehouse, which provides analytics in seconds. It allows our customers to deploy net new or move existing data marks, data lakes, and data warehouses to the cloud. And this will be our focus today. The second is autonomous transaction processing, which is designed for high performance transactional workload and that will be the topic for an upcoming event. So now one of the other key areas of innovation that we've done is our focus on choice of deployment, where we can offer unique access to cloud innovation wherever you choose. So whether that's in our public cloud, and that's autonomous database or our full suite of data warehouse solutions, which we'll talk about, we can also take our entire public cloud and bring that to customer prem. So there are many reasons why customers can't move to cloud. If it's data sovereignty, data governance, some sort of regulations, uh, latency issues, or what have you, highly sensitive data that can't leave the customer's premise, premises, we can offer a solution. You can get exact copy of Oracle's public cloud in your own data center. And finally, we also have a version autonomous database on Exadata Cloud at customer where we can deliver just autonomous database capabilities to your data center. And this level of choice um, spans our entire data warehousing technology suite as well. And that's what I wanted to cover next. So when you look at modern data warehouse components, there's sort of five key areas. First is integration, where I need to be able to collect data from multiple sources, and those could be heterogeneous sources, those could be multi-cloud sources, that could be heterogeneous on-prem with cloud. The important piece is how do I pull it all together in an easy mechanism? And then as we talk, you need the power of the database that's self-driving, self-securing, and self-repairing. 
You need to be able to support data lakes, uh, support advanced uh, machine learning based analytics, and finally data science uh, that's also powered by machine learning. And uh, Andy will go into much more detail in all of these areas. But ultimately, our different, uh, differentiators lie in, in you know, five key areas. It's a complete integrated solution that meets all your data warehouse needs. It's easy to start, it's easy to operate, and it's easy to analyze. You, we offer consistent high performance. You do not need to compromise performance uh, while moving to cloud. And in fact, we can give you a more secure environment for your data warehousing and analytics with a comprehensive multi-layer security approach. And finally, as we discussed, choice of deployment is key in terms of the benefits we provide to our customers. Now, with respect to those customers, um, we have many companies around the world of every size representing every industry who are making better decisions and delivering insights faster, leveraging our autonomous data warehouse technology, whether that, that's spanning the likes of Sky, Outfront, TaylorMade, CERN, Adventist Health, um, Vodafone, Unicomer, and others. And you're gonna hear from three exciting customers today. Uh, so with that, the agenda for today, we will have a keynote about how we can modernize without compromise, building the modern data warehouse. And that's gonna be led by Andy Mendelson, who's our Executive Vice President of Database Server Technology for Oracle. That'll be followed by Customer Spotlights, and finally, a section on how we can get started and what those next steps would be.